We've learned that a lot of things we thought before weren't true, but what we haven't learned yet is whether what we're doing now is true. And and we and the best thing to do is recognize you don't know and, and proceed in a way where you get a decent result no matter what happens, and that's what we try and do at Berkshire Hathaway. We do not think we can make money by making macro economic, uh, economic. Inflation and debt are often thought of as the twin scourges that can bring on an economic apocalypse. They turn our hard-earned savings into worthless paper and send governments to the poorhouse. But not all countries have to deal with these issues like we do. Any nation sitting on huge piles of minerals or oil has low cause for concern. They can print more money. These countries don't worry about inflation because the oil drives prices up, not the other way around. Even for nations with a strong currency like the US, debt and inflation are not as scary as people think, at least not in terms of their everyday impact on consumers. Debt does its damage when it forces the government to raise taxes, trim spending, or print money, all of which can reduce your purchasing power. Inflation is more subtle and insidious because you're not sure how much you've lost by the time you realize what's happened. Debt destroys a country's standard of living in slow motion. Welcome to Street Savvy Finance, your source for interactive videos on the financial markets. We have a wide range of videos for you to watch, including how the stock market works, why interest rates change, and what investment strategies work. Ensure you stay to the end and please subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video. In this interview, Mr. Buffett answers questions about inflation and government debt levels. He also discusses how he would fix the US economy if he were given some magic wand. Speaking of inflation, Mr. Buffett believes there hasn't been any real inflation in durable goods for a very long time. He also thinks we have had a lot of deflation in housing prices and stock market prices. On government debt, Mr. Buffett said that it would be a huge mistake to issue long-term bonds with an interest rate fixed below 3%. He said that the burden of servicing these bonds would be too great for future generations. Mr. Buffett also added that if he had a magic wand, the US government should cut its spending by 5% and raise taxes by 5%. That way, it will have balanced the budget in 10 years and then it should reduce the taxes to 19%. Mr. Buffett also thinks that it is fine for the government to borrow money to invest in physical assets like schools or bridges. These will have a long-term benefit that will outweigh the cost of servicing the debt involved. Let's see how the interview goes. This one comes from Tim Medley, <clears throat> sorry, Tim Medley in Jackson, Mississippi, who's been a Berkshire shareholder since 1987. He writes, on March 19th, respected economist Larry Summers, the former president of Harvard University and the former secretary of the Treasury under President Obama, was critical of President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion American rescue stimulus plan. In an interview with Bloomberg Television, he said, I am much more worried that we will have more inflation or that we will have a pretty dramatic fiscal monetary collision. This goes way beyond what is necessary. He said also, this is the least responsible macroeconomic policy we've had in the last 40 years. Your thoughts? You're asking me on that? <laughs> he didn't write to who, so I guess it's anybody on well, the stage. Well, I would, I would say that uh, Larry's been reading his uncle's book, <laughs> which was Paul Samuelson. But no, Larry is a very, very, very smart uh, fellow, and he's laying out possibilities which uh, actually now have probably been voiced a little more even since that that March 19th uh, uh uh, whatever data it was that, that he made that. Uh, it, you can't just do one thing in economics. And, and, and uh, uh, if we really could shovel out more and more debt, and the carrying cost turned out to be something very good. People thought Japan couldn't do what they've done, but they, you know, had not, they, that uh, it used to be called the widow maker and around Solomon and... <laughs> Buffett doesn't know if there will be a fiscal collision in the future, but thinks it's possible. He said he is not surprised that Summers has such an opinion since he is, after all, a very smart fellow. But Buffett added that we don't know what might happen involved with our present debt levels. But Larry's view uh, is an important view, and it's just as good as, in my, probably, it, the view on the other side uh, might be. We, we don't know what happens from from the present policies. We do know, as, as Jay Powell said the other day, the idea that 100% of GDP was some terribly dangerous level for G, uh, uh, in terms of uh, debt. And, and it, that, that, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, and that used to be kind of, kind of uh, accepted wisdom. Warren Buffett further explains that he's not sure how much the government should spend. 
However, he thinks that it would be a terrible idea to add more and more debt. He thinks that there was no evidence up until now to prove the fact that deficit spending stimulates an economy. He thinks it may be because deficit spending does not help an economy and could result in something opposite. He also thinks that we have heard many things that used to be true but now have been proven wrong in recent economic times. So he does not think that anybody can predict the outcome of future policies. He says that his company does not do macroeconomic predictions, so they can produce a fair amount of money no matter what the government does. We've learned that a lot of things we thought before weren't true, but what we haven't learned yet is whether what we're doing now is true. And and we and the best thing to do is recognize you don't know and, and proceed in a way where you get a decent result no matter what happens, and that's what we try and do at Berkshire Hathaway. We do not think we can make money by making macro economic economic predictions. We do think we can we do think we can pretty darn be pretty darn sure we'll get a reasonable result uh, under policies that will not maximize result if we could do that sort of thing. Charlie Munger thinks that viewing debt as a percentage of GDP is wrong to think about it. He says that it's not entirely clear if Summers was right, and he adds that too much debt does not help an economy. Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett share that although Summers has given his opinion on government debt, they do not know if it will be true since they have never experienced such a situation. It's not at all clear whether Larry is right or wrong. And He's a smart man, though. He is a smart man. Yeah. And, and it's courageous of him to raising it to He's practically the only one talking that way. Which I admire, by the way. Yeah. It guarantees he won't get a position in the administration. Yes. <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons I admire him. Yeah. And it, it, not that there was anything wrong with having a position in the administration, but I think people who kind of tell the way they think it is, I, I like it. If you enjoyed watching this interview with Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, please share it with your friends and family. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Till the next recommended video, stay street savvy.